is probably not a single person in this room who hasn't heard all this cliche, all these bullshit bingo words to the point where you actually feel a little physically ill hearing them yet one more time. Think outside the box. I mean, how many times have we not said it? How many times have we not emptied it completely by just reiterating? And the replies I'm getting more and more often have to do, start by saying innovation is important because we all know we have to say this, we are conditioned to say this, no CEO worth his or her salt can, in this day and age, say anything else. An increasing number of people are saying that they're tired of yet another round of the same old thing. I'm supposed to think outside the box, my boss says, said one of my informants, but he's never shown me the box. He's never explained what's outside the box. He just says, I don't know, do your work better, this time with creativity. The 19th century was an explosion of innovation. Today, it is very easy to share pictures of your grandchildren, or children, or cats. So some people have started talking about an innovation crisis. That what if we are actually in a very de weird schizophrenic mode, in which we are talking the talk but not really walking the walk. And for a scholar like me, for an academic like me, the question, the important question is, of course, why? What happened? The thing is, we academics, we are, in my term, we are professional naïfs. We're professionally stupid. We ask the silly questions, the one no one else asks. Why? We don't try necessarily to solve things, because we realize that solving takes a long time and is very, very difficult. But we like asking questions. And I like to ask the question, why? Why did we end up here? And I would like to you today suggest a couple of notions. And I want to start with the thing that annoys me absolutely the most about creativity, the thing that has made me hate creativity with a fervor. And that is, it's just too bloody cute. It's just too cutesy and lovely and wonderful for its own damn good. We all want to be Batman. We all want to be heroes, the hero who always has a solution, but we should all be more like this. Why so serious? Not that I say you should be homicidal psychopaths, in case you aren't, <laughs> but so that we need to look at ourselves and go, am I saying yes or no to things because I'm truly believing it or because I'm trying to protect myself? I'm going one way or the other because I think that is the right way to go or because I want to be seen as the proper person. Why so serious? Thank you.